friends we are going to study about cell so let's start with cell introduction discovery of cells types of organisms structure of cell and function of cell organelles so what is cell cell is a basic structural and functional unit of living organisms these may seem to be a very small and insignificant incident but it is very important in the history of science all living cells are made up of small cells and all living cells comes from pre-existing cells by division this picture in which these box like structure these are cells and inside these boxes these circle black portion is nucleus which controls the whole cell now let's study the discovery of cell robert hook an english botanist observed thin sections of cork under compound microscope and noticed honeycomb like compartments robert hook's microscope there is robert hook microscope which was made by him he discovered cell in 1665 by observing under his microscope he examined a thin slice of bottle cork under his primitive microscope he observed corks honeycombed or porous structures these boxes these small boxes box like compartments are honeycomb like structure or porous structures hook observed them hook found porous structures to cork to resemble with monasteries and called these small units these small unit cells now let's study types of organisms the first one is unicellular organisms so what is unicellular uni means Sing, single. These organisms are made up of single cells. They do not need a male and female to reproduce. For example, yeast and amoeba. This is an example of yeast. And the second one is multicellular organisms. Multi means more than one more than one these are made up of multiple cells made up of multiple multiple cells like humans they need a male and female to reproduce for example plants and humans now let's differentiate between unicellular and multicellular organisms so in unicellular organisms they are made up of single cells and in multicellular organisms they are made up of multiple cells in unicellular organisms sorry single cell perform all life functions and in multicellular organisms specialized cells perform different functions the offspring is identical in unicellular organisms the offspring is identical to the parents and in multicellular organisms offspring is different from parent but similar in some cases life span is short in unicellular organisms due to heavy load of work and life span is linked due to limited load of work for each cell type examples of unicellular organisms are amoeba bacteria and examples of multicellular organisms are humans and plants